بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم Praise be to Allah who enjoined on his servants the pilgrimage, the hajj once in their lifetime and he does not need anything from their efforts and deeds and I bear witness that there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one he has no partner he rewards the obedience of his servants and he teaches the servants of the righteous and I bear witness that our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his servant and messenger Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him mercy and favor for the worlds he clarified the parameters of the religion in the Quran and the Sunnah saying an accepted Hajj has no reward but paradise Peace be upon him and his family and his all companions and those who follow them in charity until the day of judgment. Servants of Allah, I advise you and me to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for it is, the, it is the emblem of the believers and this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commandment to all of us. Muslim community, the Hajj is a journey of faith and spiritual education in which it is a practical embodiment of servitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Hajj is a purification of the soul from sins and misdeeds so that the Muslims returns from it with a healthy soul and a pure pious spirit. Hajj is an obligation upon every Muslim and one of the five pillars of Islam. It is imposed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala once in a lifetime on every Muslim, man or woman, if he, is, if he is able in his health and money to perform the rituals and expenses of Hajj. So, to perform this great obligation and the blessed journey of faith, the hearts of Muslim desire the house of Allah, the Kaaba, and the souls of sincere lover long for him what is in it is behind their backs approaching hereafter with their hearts souls and bodies praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and thankful for his blessings dear Muslims in Hajj we have many moral and spiritual lessons it instills in the soul of Muslim noble morals great qualities purity of the heart hastening to good deeds and refraining from arguing and fighting with others. Whoever commits to performing pilgrimage, hajj, let them stay away from intimate relations, foul language and arguments during the pilgrimage. And in hajj, respecting the sanctity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and praying for greatness in every moment. And whoever honors the rituals of Allah it is the best for them in the sight of their Lord. And whoever honor the symbols of Allah, it is certainly out of the piety of the heart. A pilgrim, a haji, returns from his blessed from this blessed journey of faith with many great benefits. And the greatest of these account is that the Prophet said, An accepted Hajj has no reward but paradise. And the second gainer, the Prophet وسلم, embodied it in his saying, whoever, whoever makes a pilgrimage to Allah and does not commit obscenity and does not commit immorality returns as the day his mother gave birth to him. So, when the pilgrim, the haji, returns from his hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has forgiven his previous sins. Translation of the second sermon O Muslim community, let us know that all the scenes of Hajj confirm the meaning that the power is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the honor is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the earth is all for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
and that is when all the pilgrims voices rise in talbiya glorification and remembrance it reverberates in space and resounds in the ears of the universe that there is no god but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has no partner and the whole universe is only for him without polytheism allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source and reference and every good and blessing is from him and the man is the ultimate value in existence as allah declared o humanity indeed we created you from a male and a female and made you into peoples and tribes so that you may get to know one another surely the noblest of you in the sight of allah is the most righteous among you allah is truly all knowing all aware and pray and salute the one allah has commanded commanded you to pray upon as allah subhanahu wa taala said in quran indeed allah showers his blessing upon the prophet and his angels praise for him o believers invoke allah's blessing upon him and salute him with worthy greeting of peace may allah subhanahu wa taala bless us in the book and the sunnah and benefit us with the remembrance and wisdom that they contain wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin